I have to admit, getting green screen to work properly at my studio has been a challenge. I completely understand why you're looking for a software-based solution, and in this video, I'm gonna provide three, so stay tuned, here we go. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. This is an educational channel providing tutorials on all the exciting hardware and software that makes your live streams super fun and cool for your viewers. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for new video notifications. Victor Saunders literally one hour ago said, Scott, I'm totally stuck. I want to use an image like you do in your videos. I've tried everything, but I'm totally bewildered. I don't want to use green screen. What do I do? Okay, Victor, this is for you. The purpose of this video is to provide three solutions. I'm not going to get into the super duper nitty gritty like I usually do on these kind of things. I'm just going to give you sort of a global perspective so that you can dig into these solutions and choose the one that's best for you. Okay, let's go. These programs use a mathematical equation to analyze your head and shoulders and extract the background color from the live video. If you'd like to enhance the line that separates that background from your head and shoulders and make it more smooth, things you can do are illuminate the background with lighting if you can, or hang a sheet with a solid color behind you. That way the mathematical equation will make that line that separates the background in your head and shoulders much more straight, clean, and clear. If you move around in the camera a lot, that will absolutely have a negative effect because the line sort of is jaggedy, like, like almost like liquid when you move. And so you don't want to do that because it kind of distracts what your viewers see and you don't want to, you know, make them think about other things other than what you're talking about. So try not to move, try to illuminate your background and try to hang a solid color behind you. Okay, let's get into the first website. Okay, the first website is chromacam.me. I'll put a link in the description for you. If you scroll down, you'll see that it does mention OBS Studio as something that is seamlessly integrated. I'm not sure how exactly. If you go to the fact page, there is a fairly in-depth list of fact questions. If you click the down arrow here, it'll clamshell open next to the Chroma Cam selector here. You, they do have a solution in regards to system requirements, and they do have a link that will download software that is called a requirement checker, which is pretty slick but they do clearly outline the operating systems that are required for it to work. Again, I didn't see much on OBS Studio, so I was like, hmm, I wonder how it's integrated, but I'm sure the solution is fairly easy. They probably set it up as a source to bring in on OBS. If you go to plans and pricing, you'll notice that there is a free version and they do add a watermark for that version and they will actually provide background blurring, which is pretty cool and it is compatible with Mac. If you look at the Chroma Cam Pro for $24.99 a year, which I wouldn't recommend you purchase because they have a full purchase price for 45 bucks. Spend money one time and you got it for life. That's the way to go. But what I noticed for this tier here is at the bottom it says Chroma Cam for Mac doesn't include streamer mode at this time. So I asked myself, well, gee, is that true for this version, I'm not sure. If you wanna test it, download it, and see for yourself. So let us know in comments if the Mac version cannot use the streamer mode for the light version, let us know. Okay, the next one is called XSplit VCam, and it has a download. I believe it's a free version. If you go into the support navigation button here, if you scroll down, you'll notice that if you click XSplit VCAM, it clamshells open to a whole bunch of other stuff, and you'll see, can I use XSplit VCAM with OBS? If you click that, and it says, yes, you can add XSplit VCAM as a video capture device source in OBS Studio. That's the kind of thing you want to read about for software in regards to getting this done. So this software will work with OBS Studio, Unfortunately, it is not compatible with Mac users, so this is only PC. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. The third option is if you have an NVIDIA card. There is a NVIDIA broadcast program that will 
actually do a very good job at, at extracting the background. The extraction line is probably the best out of all three of these solutions. So if you click the system requirements, you will see that if you have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, a Quadro RTX 3000, or a Titan RTX or higher, you're in good shape to use this software. Uh, recommended CPU power is an Intel Core i5-8600 or an AMD Ryzen R5-2600 or higher. So if that sounds like what you have for your system, download this. This one will be the best solution for you.